everybody it's me again silly um today is a video i didn't think i'd actually get to do but the other week while i was out shopping i think it must be two weeks ago now i think yeah it was two was it last week time goes that fast anyway i ran into another i ran into an artist in the big w store here in the plaza and she looked at and she looked at Quinn and she said Quinn's a boy I said what yet yeah, Quinn's a boy he looks more like a boy so I have decided to change him into a little boy's outfit I've got I've got blue and see how he looks in a blue she looks then she actually gave me a name to use um I might use that I'd just see um what what are we putting on him is a little onesie little footless onesie this is a baby prem item it's white and got blue trim around the bottom of the legs and got blue sleeves and you've got blue trim around the neck and on the right left hand side it's got puppy my my little friend so this is what we'll be putting on queen today the lady said the name i told she asked the name i said it's quinn we well, said quinton for a boy i said okay yeah say quinton then a friend on facebook said you can still have quinn but with two ends i thought i don't know because quinn quinn is a to me quinn this quinn is a girl so if i want to change it over to a boy i might change it to quinton just a different the same but different name so we're going to change him into this little outfit and we're going to see how she goes looking as a boy she does i know i put a photo up on page on facebook i am and i just cut out the face and as soon as i did that i did see a boy and everybody else on the group i'm in on facebook they also seen a boy so he is going to be a boy what are we doing here little man yep you're a boy now aren't you i'll get me doctors on thursday had to get results of some blood tests nothing serious just a check up on things and blood tests are all good blood pressures are all good um and i told her that i'm changing quinn over to boy <laughs> she looked at me she laughed she said it's very 2018 isn't it everybody people out there who feel they have been born into the wrong body well if they feel they have been born into the wrong body and they feel that they are the other what who they feel like like if they are seen to others as a girl and they they think they're not a girl they are a boy and they want to go through the transition of changing over we'll do it you know let them do it let them be happy life's too short i oh know you get people out there who put them down because oh, there he is so my say so youtuber friends out there this is meet quinton my new little boy so that makes i've got one two now i've got four boys this is quinton quinton Quinn comes from his kit name. So, yeah. As I was saying with the tran transsexuals, if you feel you're in the wrong body and you want to tra transition over to the body you felt you feel you should be in, you do whatever makes you happy. It's something I cannot imagine what they're going through. There's no way. Just like like a uh, heterosexual cannot understand what a homosexual goes through when they go through and realizing that they are that they are gay no one can understand what's no one can understand even from one woman one gay lesbian to another lesbian they're all transition not to transition they're coming out and how they feel and how they're realizing they are gay it, everybody's completely different although i did see i had a video of ellen Ellen DeGeneres and on the one that stand up comedy is had she had an interpretation dance of her coming out and I just sat there and watched it and I was in awe over it you know it was 
I could understand what was happening and it was amazing. It interpretation dance of the coming out. It just how I felt. At the end I thought, oh my God. I know she's a stand up comedian and that and all the ones in the audience they thought it was a joke. It was funny what she was doing. Yeah, it probably was. But I don't know if anyone who's seen it, who's gay, who's a lesbian, who has seen it and how they felt about it. Did they think what she was doing was funny? Or did you think that you could put yourself in her situation and you feel the same way she felt? The coming out. It is amazing. Ellen is amazing. I stand up for her. She's made gone so far imagine imagine her remember her sitcom ellen when she came out on that that was the end of her sitcom they reckon she, that'd be the end of her forever no what's she now is it 15 she's into a 15th year of her, of her series at the moment and look she has taken us rainbow people a long way she's been married to portia for 10 years of course she had a married an Aussie because she was born on Australia Ellen was born on Australia Day anyway that's it I'll get back to the doctors um also she said that she feels that I'm I'm so much better within myself I'm so much happier she has seen a difference in me and that after I come back from Adelaide, I'll go back and see it and we're thinking of cutting back on my medication, which I do feel good. I do feel amazing. I feel so much better. Um, yes, I had depression before I met my ex, but because of what went through with her, it just got worse. Oh. It still gets me to what she did, you know. How could a person do that? But that's her. She's the one with the problem. And doing what I'm doing is doing good for me. I have my babies. As you watch my video, I watch my videos. I, I have fun. You know, this is what, I've got a hobby. I never had a hobby before. Um, I didn't really start collecting them until last year, till I moved, till I had more space. And I didn't, and it has just, it has changed me so much. I don't care what people think. Everybody's, I, people, people, they know, if they see me with babies, I said, I tell them they're reborn. I said, I collect them. Then I tell them that I also do videos for YouTube. And I think that is something. It's Whatever they think, that's their business. They can think whatever they like, but I'm doing what makes me happy. And that's what we need to do. We're living for today. If I didn't do what made me happy, I would be a wreck, I reckon. So we are here having fun. Two weeks I'll be in Adelaide. And also while I'm in Adelaide, I won't be uploading any videos. I will be doing videos, but I won't be doing any more upload until I get back because... I, because they take so long to upload and I won't be having my own Wi-Fi, my own, my own personal Wi-Fi I'll be using the cabin at the caravan park. So I won't be, I won't be doing anything until I get home. So that is going to be big decision. As I said, I'm, when I, I am doing videos, I'll probably be taking photos as well. Um, I will be transferring from my phone onto an external hard drive. Well, I will create a folder and that will be saved on there. I just have to remember to take the hard drive. I'm actually starting putting things aside that I'm taking with me. I've got a bag here that I've, like, I want a cake container for bickies and my cereal and things like that. So I'm going to put my hard drive in there. I've got to check which one's got most room left on it. And I would chuck in there had to make a note anyway i'm so looking forward to going to adelaide you know and daylight saving starts i think it, the, i arrived there on the friday and daylight saving starts on the sunday 
for those in other countries, yes, uh, they like, as you know, we're different seasons here. Like we're still in spring at the moment. And Dalat Saving starts October and it goes for six months, October, November, December, January, February, March, and it finishes in April. We have the six months. When we had the Olympic, we had, was it the Olympic Games or the Commonwealth Games way back? They extended daylight saving for them and they've just kept it at that. Not all states here in Australia have daylight saving. Um, Queensland, they don't have it. Queensland is probably about three and a half hours north of me, the border. Um, but they don't have it. The reason being was the curtains will fade. That was one thing. They will confuse the cows. And now the next thing I heard around going around is it's daylight saving that is um, causing the drought because we've got more daylight. It's got more sun and it's drying up all the water and that's why we have a drought because of daylight saving. People will think of anything that's so stupid. Imagine thinking daylight saving, you've got more sunlight. But some people have really thick heads. That was a, that was a, oh, what was he? The Premier of Queensland at the time, it's going back a few years, Jeff Yocca Peterson. He said, it was him who said that the curtains are going to fade and the poor cows will get all confused or the stuff. Oh my goodness. It's only the clock that's changing, not the sun. Sun's still going, rain was. I get back to little, this is now little Quinton. So I've got another little boy. I've got to get some outfits for him. I know I'm go I've got to take measurements for my little ones so that if I'm over there, I'll find some nice outfits that will fit my little ones, so I'll get some. I still haven't decided which babies. I'm only taking two babies. I haven't decided which two I'm going to take. I'm going, I'll am i probably take Bridget, and I might take Quentin with me. I don't want to take little ones because I'll be packing them on board luggage, and... I want more room for other things like I'm taking, want to put in there. So I'm I'm hanging out for that. So so you two weeks you'll have no videos from me. I know I will do a video on the Thursday the day before I leave, and I will upload. I'll I'll actually I'll have to get my videos up to date so that I'm not running behind and uploading my videos, and I will do a last video on the Thursday to let you know who I'm taking with me and how I'm going to dress them for their travelling. And I've got some bubble wrap. I think I've got some bubble wrap somewhere or a blank something that I can wrap them up in. Quentin's got some nice little hair. He is such a beautiful baby. He's adorable. The artist who I seen the other week said he is amazing. He's his painting is really amazing. He is adorable. And his tiny little feet. Yeah, he's such a cutie. Sleeping. I've already been out shopping today. I thought I'd get out and wanted to get some things. Um, I had to get some others the bottom of my lounge because since I moved my lounge around it's no longer it's got a wall behind it stopping from sliding so I had to get things for that then I had my lunch and I was sitting in the plaza out there at the lunch and I was thinking just watching things about mate these shopping centers who thought of the idea of creating shopping centers you know where did that idea from I get these really thick thoughts sometimes where did the idea come from and all the food who designed all this food and the machines to create the food like in that in our food court we've got a is it Dunkin Donuts I think and they've got a Chinese place and they've got a crepe place they've got Red Rooster they've got uh, sumo salad and rigid pies I usually just have my Subway Subway is nice and fresh so it's beautiful So I should go, so I'm upload. I've got to do some cleaning. Yeah. I'm back. Our neighbour just caught in the back door to show me her two babies. 
all dressed up to go to a party. They look so cute in their outfits. She's, I think she's only got the two. She's got a boy and a girl. They're so cute. One little boy is in his suit. Well, I don't think there's anything else. So when I said the noise before, before I turned the cabinet, that's what I was going. I was coming. She was at the back door. Just wanted to show me. Okay, I think we should go. I've got, as I said, I've got some cleaning to do. I've got to fix the lounge up. I've got to do this. Um, I might have a cup of tea. Sit down, relax. Do some tidying. I've got to wash up. So, people, we will see you later. You will see Quint Quinton in another video sometime. So, enjoy your babies. Okay, have fun. If you're an Aussie watching this and you happen to go into the Adelaide show, look out for me. I don't know if you'll know who I am. If you've seen other videos, you'll recognize me. So, everybody, have a good day. We will say goodbye. Move closer to Quinton. There we are, little Quinton. He is such a sweetie. Oh, the little boy. Is that four boys? So it's Leo, Deed, Christopher, and Quinton. Yeah. So, people, I love you and Lydia. Have a good day, everybody. Wherever you are in this world, enjoy your day, your night, and whatever. Live life to the fullest. Enjoy what we have to enjoy in this day. Be thankful what we got. The little babies. Thank you to all the artists out there who create these babies for us. And thank you to the people out there, the sculptors who create these kits for the artists who create for us. And for every little thing that goes into the, making these babies. We thank you for everything that you do so we can enjoy these as they are a finished product. As I said, I better go. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and click the little bell to get notification of new videos so i will see you next time have a good day bye youtubers take care <laughs>